For professional baseball players, life in the minor leagues means frequently waking up in a new city, playing in an unfamiliar stadium far from home. For the Hartford Yard Goats, the 2016 season so far has been one long road trip as they await the completion of a new stadium. Us the baseball players, I mean, we have to adapt. You know, I mean, just like this year, I mean, we started, we started our first 50 games on the road. <laughs> this last week or so, I mean, we've been back and forth between, uh, you know, Harrisburg up to New Hampshire, New Hampshire down to Bowie, Bowie up here to Connecticut. So we've had, we've had some long hauls, um, you know, a lot of time sitting on the bus. You know, I mean, we're all used to living out of a suitcase and uh, being on the road and riding the bus. You know, the stadiums change and, and, and places change as we go to, but I think the, the foundation that we have is, is what we do when we get here, you know. Uh, you have your routines, you know, get dressed, go hit in the cage, do your throwing program, you know, stuff like that, something that, that's actually tangible that you can stick to on a daily basis whether or not you're in Hartford or Richmond or, or whatever. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good evening. Thank you. Dodd Stadium in Norwich, the team's temporary home for 10 games in May, is a familiar sight for two yard goats players. I, I played here in Norwich in 2009. You know, it's going to be kind of a, a, a walk down memory lane. You know, I mean, it's been about seven years since I've been here, so uh, it's kind of cool being back here. In fact, I, I uh, called my old athletic trainer that was here with me in 2009, and I said, "Man, you'll never guess where I'm at." You know, of course he couldn't. You know, and I told him, and he's like, "What are you doing there?" Last night I slept in my own bed, and you know, got up and met the bus and came here. To a stadium that I've played at in high school and, and in college a couple times, so it's it's definitely a little different for me compared to the other guys. I'm I'm basically home now, whereas you know they're still pretty much on the road. I think the biggest the biggest problem for guys is just having clean clothes to wear. You know, I mean that's that's been the biggest battle is is trying to trying to keep you know everything everything clean and getting your laundry done. I think that my mom would would do the laundry for the team. Yeah, if they if they asked and they needed it, I think she, that she would do it. She's been washing my baseball pants for long enough, so it's what's, what's 29 other guys, right? <laughs> the extended road trip does not seem to be affecting the team's performance. Despite a loss Thursday against the New Hampshire Fisher Cats, the Yard Goats are, as of Friday, in first place in their division with a 23-10 record. I think that we just accepted it from such an early stage that every game is pretty much we're just playing baseball, you know what I mean? It's not like oh, we're in New Hampshire we're, when we should be in Hartford. I think we all kind of molded together from the start and we just accepted it and we go out and we play, you know, the game of baseball that we play every day and we just feel like we just have a lot of fun and I think that's helping us a lot.